All right, hello, this is Francis. I'm your docent for the Storytime Tour. We do Storytime Tours at the Umlauf very often, and this is a real special one for me because I get to talk to you all wherever you are. This is a very favorite book of mine, Kate Who Tamed the Wind. And I know the Austin author, Liz Garten Scanlon. She lives up the hill, and this book is about a man who lives up the hill, sort of like Charles Umlauf. And Angeline, his wife, and their children used to live up the hill. Once there was a man living all alone in a creaky house on the tip top of a steep hill. The man lived all alone in the creaky house on the tip top of a steep hill where a soft wind blew. The man lived all alone in the creaky house where the curtains swung and the chimes spun as a soft wind blew and blew. Today we don't have a windy day, but we can imagine what a windy day would feel like. And it blew, the wind blew until the shutters banged in the creaky house on the tip top of the steep hill. The wind blew and the shutters banged and the boards bent. And we can also imagine that the hill was right up there. Charles and Angie didn't live on a really steep hill, but it definitely is a steep hill. We can go see that later on. The wind blew, the shutters banged, the boards bent, the table tipped and the tea spilled. The tea spilled and the bread broke on the tippy table in the creaky house at the tip top of the steep hill. And still the wind blew. Look at the man's beard, his hat. Everything is blowing inside and out. The birds even outside. The wind blew and off the birds flew. The man's losing control. The birds flew and the dust did too and the man cried, what to do? What would you do? What to do? The wind whipped his words from the tip top of the steep hill to the itty bitty town at the bottom where a little girl called Kate heard the cry and she felt it too. She's playing hopscotch down below. She caught the man's hat because the wind blew it all the way from the house down to where she was playing with her chalk. Maybe y'all are playing with your chalk on the sidewalks right now. She wondered what on earth to do. She's really putting her thinking cap on. She's thinking wind, new trees. Kate could not stop the wind, she knew, but and she's writing out, she's drawing out her plan. She could wheel a load of new trees to the tip top of the dusty hill in her wagon. And there she is with her wagon. She's gone all the way up the hill. She's handing the man at the top of the hill his hat that blew all the way down the hill. And in her little wagon, she has some small trees. There, Kate dug deep holes and watered muddy mounds till the trees grew. And as the trees grew, the wind blew. And look what's happening in these trees. We have little bird nests. The trees are growing. Oh, there's a cat in the leaves. So the seasons are changing. We're in the middle of seasons changing. The trees grew, the wind blew, and the time flew. The time flew as the trees grew and grew. And Kate did too. Look at Kate now. The trees grew till the leaves fluttered and the shutters stilled and the boards bounced back. Kate might look different to you all now. Look at her. She's taller, she has longer hair. The leaves fluttered, the shutters stilled, the boards bounced back, and the dust died down. The dust died down, the tea steeped, and the birds peeped. It looks like Kate and the man are sharing a picnic. Inside, the Umlauf's a great place for a picnic, by the way, on family days. The birds peeped, and the old man poured sweet tea and said, for you, near the quiet house, on the tip top of the green hill where a bright breeze blew. This book was all about trees, all about an older man who lived at the top of the hill, all about Kate who solved the problems and it makes me think of being here at the Umlauf and looking forward to seeing y'all at the next family day and again for another story soon. Bye.